Any time is a good time for tacos, especially when it's the type with pulled chicken and avocado crema. All right, so this is the ingredients that we're gonna be using for today's recipe. For a detailed list, you can look at the description down below. But as you can see, we got around two tomatoes, radish, onions, cilantro, jack pepper cheese, sour cream, two chicken breasts, some avocados, limes, tortillas. And for spices, we have black pepper, garlic powder, salt, and chipotle. All right, let's start off by giving the chicken a quick marinade. I put some salt and some lime. I think this lowers the chance of it having that chickeny flavor, but if you know any better, let me know in the comments. Uh, once you're done, we'll put it aside and start heating up our pan. Okay, once the pan is hot, we can add some oil. In this case, I'm doing one tablespoon of coconut oil. Make sure you've pat dried the chicken so it doesn't splatter more than it needs to. Uh, make sure to also spread the oil evenly on the pan. And you can just put the chicken once you've done that, uh, I'm covering it up with uh, a splatter guard so the oil doesn't go all over the place. And that's it, we'll check up on it later. While the chicken is cooking, we're gonna start to do the base sauce for the chicken itself. And this is going to include two to three tomatoes. You can add more if you like, that'll make it more saucy. We're gonna also be adding around one third of an onion, depending on the size. All right, so take a look at the chicken. And if you see that it's brown on the bottom, go ahead and flip it. Okay, so let's move the chicken to the side, except uh, now it's gonna have a little bit of a lower flame on it. And now we're gonna start heating up another pan to make the sauce for the chicken. Let's heat that up. Let's add uh, one tablespoon of coconut oil. Once the pan is hot, add the tomato and onions we cut up previously. Also, let's put some pepper and salt to flavor. Then we can cover this up and reduce the fire to low so it can cook slowly. We want to make a, a sauce here, so there's no need to rush it. Okay, so now we can prepare the radishes. You can start off by cutting off the ends as those aren't pleasant to eat. Then you can slice the radish in half lengthwise and now you can slice it in half again lengthwise, but don't slice it all the way through. Leave a piece intact. Then cut along the length some rows and then cut across those rows and that's gonna make cubes. Which is the point of this? Because the radish is an adornment of, of sorts, but at the same time, it provides texture for the taco. The chicken has been cooking in the background and should be done by now. I like to take it off before it gets to temperature because it'll continue to cook afterward. But it's up to you how you cook your meats. Be safe. Now you can put it aside to let it cool off a bit. Checking on the sauce, we can see that it's looking good. When you see that the only thing that remains of the tomato is the skin, it means that the sauce is ready. You can turn it off and set it aside for now. The next topping we're preparing is the chopped onion and cilantro. For the onion, we're using the same technique we used for the radishes. For the cilantro, just pull off a bunch, then you're going to make it compact, fold it up, keep it tight, and then just chop it up. And finally, I like to add one lime and give it a good mix.
let's pull some chicken. At this point, the chicken might be cool enough, but if it isn't, separate it into big chunks, and that's going to help cool it off quicker than one whole piece. The finer you pull the chicken, the easier it will be to eat, and the less chewing you'll do. I think the thinner strands is the way to go, it just it's a better texture overall. Now comes my favorite part, we get to make the avocado crema. First we need a bunch of cilantro, then we need one and a half avocados, one teaspoon of salt, or adjust for your particular needs or flavor. One and a half limes, three tablespoons of sour cream. So let's blend this up. Okay, now it's nicely blended, but don't forget to taste it afterwards. It might need a little bit more lemon more cilantro, depending on what you like. Always taste what you make. Another important ingredient to prepare is the shredded cheese. I like to use pepper jack cheese. It's the same as Monterey Jack, except it has peppers in it. Another choice could be sharp cheddar, if you like a stronger cheese flavor. I think pepper jack blends in well with the rest of the ingredients, and so it provides a nice layer of flavors. Finally, let's finish making the chicken. I'm using the same pan that I made the chicken in earlier. I've added a tablespoon of oil and gotten the pan nice and hot. Add the shredded chicken and let's give it some flavor by adding pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, a little over a teaspoon of chipotle powder, a pinch or two of salt, the last step is to add the sauce we prepared earlier. Be sure to mix it up well for about three minutes or so. And finally, give it a taste for salt and adjust accordingly. Now you can remove it from the fire. Finally, we get to make the taco. The first step is to have a warm tortilla. Add the shredded cheese to the bottom. This is so it can melt. And to make it melt, we're going to add some of that pulled chicken. Let's put some of that tasty avocado crema. Not as OCD as I did here though. And what's a taco without fresh cilantro and onions? Let's put some. And to finish it off, let's put some diced radish as it adds color and a nice crunch. There you have it. This is one of my favorite tacos to make because of all the layers of flavors in it. Enjoy and let me know what you think in the comments. Cheers.